with Mr. Sanchez. <laughs> That's me. Recently, you've acquired a felony charge of the possession of cocaine. Oh, yes, of course. How did you acquire it? How did I acquire it? Yeah. Through my f***ing drug dealer. His name is Chef. And that's the name he's only ever told me. He, uh, well, he basically lives way out by the boonies, right? And he, uh, he's got truckloads of cocaine that go in there week in, week out. I usually just pull up there every once in a while, you know what I mean? Every couple of weekends or something like that. And, uh, I, I'll get a, an eight ball or something like that, right? Give him the cash, eight ball. He's a very intimidating guy, though, so I wouldn't try messing with him if I were you. But Mr. Sanchez, how has cocaine affected your life? What do you think? Does it look like it's affected it positively in any way? No, it hasn't. It's ruined me. I'm not even wearing a shirt, for Christ's sake. This jacket's all I've got, okay? I regret ever doing cocaine. So, Mr. Valdivia, what was your role within this cartel? By the time I had left the cartel, I had secured a vital role in Mr. Escobar's operation. I was the overseer of many warehouses, kept track of all the trucks that went in and out, and for a while, I even kept in touch with Mr. Escobar. Well, Mr. Valdivia, I have to ask, how long were you in the cartel? I was with the cartel for basically my whole life. I was born into it, raised in it. Well, until I met my wife and started a family. I knew I had to change my ways, and I've, it's been 20 years since I past communicated with any of the other cartel members. So, Mr. Valdivia, I've got one last question for you. How did you escape this cartel? It took me three long years to finally escape Colombia and the cartel. I was a vital part of Mr. Escobar's operations, so I had to be there for many deals. I knew if I wanted to leave the cartel, I had to take my family and me out of there or we'd be killed. So I let my family go by plane three months before me, and I had to take a boat. I sailed for days until I reached Mexico, where I continued the rest of the journey on foot. <laughs>